Now, here's meteorologist T.J. Del Santo with your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. We are looking at lots of clouds out there right now, but not much in the way of rain. I think we're looking at a better chance of rain over the next couple of days. However, let's get a look at live Doppler radar. You might encounter a little spotty drizzle if you are headed out, but generally a dry afternoon. Threat tracker for today, Wednesday and Thursday, low chance for severe weather, but certainly unsettled. Here's a look at uh, Oakland Beach and Warwick. We're looking on off to the south. You can see uh, some streamers here, maybe some uh, light showers in the distance, but lots of clouds overhead. Here's a look at Providence, cloudy skies behind the skyline and above it as well. 54 wind from the southeast at five, generally kind of chilly across all of southern New England. 52 in Smithfield, only 50 in Chapachet, 56 in Taunton, Newport, 56 over in Westerly, a little milder, 59 at Rhode Island College, currently at 55 degrees. Satellite radar picture showing all the clouds in place, but notice really not much in the way of rain anywhere across New England. I think that's going to change uh, come uh, tomorrow as we'll have a little disturbance passing overhead, which will help to enhance some rain showers locally. Let's take a look at it with our hour by hour forecast. Lots of clouds through the afternoon and into the evening. Maybe some showers beginning to kind of develop as we head into the overnight and into your Wednesday morning. Your Wednesday morning uh, looks to be, I think, mainly dry, but there will likely be a few showers in the area through through the afternoon, a better chance of showers will be arriving and that will continue into Wednesday evening. Hold on, we'll get that uh, Halloween forecast for you in just a bit. Forecast for today, we are looking at temperatures in the mid to upper 50s with lots of clouds around, a couple of showers possible, but again, generally dry. For tonight, uh, overnight lows about 50 degrees with showers and drizzle uh, expected, especially later in the night and still lots of clouds. Let's take a concentrate on uh, Thursday now. So we've got some showers Wednesday night and into Thursday morning. Here we are around 8 o'clock in the morning Thursday with some, some showers in the neighborhood. I think the showers begin to get more numerous as we head into Thursday evening. And here we are around 8 o'clock with some showers and maybe some downpours off to our west. Now they could move a little quicker and they could come in here uh, uh, into uh, our area during Halloween. So we'll have to watch that out for that. So Wednesday looks like this. Lots of showers around lots of clouds temperatures in the 60s I think a better chance for showers later in the day close-up look at Halloween and we are expecting to see some showers but look at this temperatures in the 60s during the evening on Thursday. So that's not too tough to take. Unfortunately, you have to walk around with an umbrella. On Friday, we are looking at some rain showers in the morning and then improving in the afternoon. But look at the weekend. Saturday and Sunday, although a little on the cool side in the 50s, we are looking at sunshine for both days. And of course, don't forget to set your clock back one hour late Saturday night and early on Sunday morning. So certainly unsettled for the next few days. Be sure to download the WPRI Pinpoint Weather 12 app. You can get live interactive radar and track those rain showers yourself wherever you are for your iPhone, iPad, and Android devices. All right, so the good news is you don't need the winter jacket Thursday night. Probably, probably not, but you might need the uh, the raincoat. The raincoat. Oh. The trash bag always works. That helps. The old school way. All right, <laughs> TJ, thanks so much. Stay with us for stories going up new tonight starting live at 5. Every 88 minutes right here in the US, a pedestrian is killed in a traffic accident. We are getting a look at some new technology that is trying to help stop a deadly crash. Then new at 530 after two local boaters who were reported missing were found safe late yesterday. We're hearing now from the Coast Guard on what you should do before you go out on the waterways. And new at six, an update on the latest IGT hearings scheduled for this evening right at the State House. We'll have those stories, plus all the day's breaking news later on Eyewitness News. Remember, if you're not home by six o'clock, no worries. You can